first year of graduating students um, in the MFA in Computational Studio Arts and it's the first programme, if you like, within the University of London which is very much about hands-on programming skills as what you might call the new crafts. It's really crafty and I was interested in building things with my own hands. I feel like I am combining um, things from many different fields. I'm interested in patterns in our body. It could be brain, muscle or breath, like that. I was very interested to, in exploring uh, the ways in which the combination of um, traditional art practices and uh, soft new technologies can enhance our perception of uh, the relation we, we share with the space that surrounds us. While I studied in computer science in my BA, I was, think, I was thinking about that. Why are we using technologies? I wanted to inter integrate um, the theatre and installations. I assumed that the spectator is a performer, so I would like to make a cross art form so they can actually record their performance in this space. From thinking about the form and function and functionality and how something is set up in space, this was a totally different way of thinking about um, building, building something with your own hands. It was really crafty actually. The system inside is too complicated for me to develop, so I took all out and replaced with my own system. When people walk past or get into its range, it rings. It has a distance sensor. Also, it can read your pulse, and also it can talk to you. You can adjust the volume, and it has to, you have to type in your information, which is biometric information. For example, your age, name, surname, weight, and height. After um, 15 to 20 seconds, it start to sync with your pulse. It start to form the pattern, characteristics, and also the sound ambience. The canvas, which is what you see behind this organza, which is this, um, which is a combination of um, conductive and non-conductive materials, and the way these materials interact to your touch uh, can generate many different outputs. And then this outer layer, which is um, digitally printed and embroidered, it's just used as an, a haptic interface to engage people to actually uh, engage with it in a physical manner. manner. You can get commissions to build installations for um, maybe the, the borough or uh, private clients. The Royal Opera House, thinking about wearables and garments and projections so you know that would be a whole other trajectory of output. There's more cross-pollination now between this, you know, technical and, and artistic cultures you might say. The new crafts is very much smart crafting. Now what is smart crafting? It's being smart with technology and being smart with DIY crafts. That's where they converge in an activism. You don't get that in visual arts. Because of the dynamic relationship between art, science and technology, and probably some of the most interesting shows now at the Science Museum and the Wellcome Foundation, they're really pressurizing, I think, the conventions of the art world because it's, people are much more engaged.